Oh, I see. Yeah. So you can damp it down and make it water and mix it. make the colors. But only a bit of water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. too it much. It's helpful to, to be a present. Because uh, probably yeah. on uh, Jacek's uh, everything is uh, clear. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's a symbolism. Something like this impression. <laughs> so simple that it needs explanation. Yes, please. So you want me to explain? Yes, please. Yes. Try right. to explain what you have. How is this representing yes. Vienna? Uh, this is uh, sy symbolism, so I have to explain because uh, those symbols are not, maybe not clear enough. So, this is Vienna, this is uh, uh, Donau, this is uh, river, and uh, this is underground lines, that one and that one and that one. Those uh, green uh, things, the trees, which uh, symbolize uh, many parks in, in Vienna, and those uh, things are Cathedral and Stefan's Dome and uh, other places like this, Schönbrunn and everything. And uh, this place is the Volkshochschule Kitzing. Maybe, maybe, let, let, let's, yeah, that's good. That's, yeah, I see. This is, this is like rainbow. This is like rainbow because uh, it's uh, shining. Uh, yeah. All over Vienna. All over uh, Vienna. That's good. And this is Polish Institute when we felt like in prison. And, uh, is it we, like prison? Because we, uh, we, didn't, we couldn't uh, get free from this to reach uh, first of all, Hitzi, to uh, reach this. Uh, Freedom. Schönbrunn or Belvedere? Schönbrunn. We haven't seen that one. If you yeah, enter from area, the side, see to Kammergarten, it's the, the site of the Kammergarten. Mm -hmm. Expression about uh, Vienna. Yes. When we came by train and Trees. look, look, first look from Vienna and the Kammergarten. Uh, uh, autumn leaves which are everywhere at the moment then um, i have uh, the representation of rosie and paul oh what is what is uh, uh, here's rosie and paul yeah they are very famous and here we have the frog ah, yeah that's good. and bats we have our bats here mm -hmm. um it's also because it's about adult classes and education about smaller classes less people in them um I noticed in Vienna there seem to be, you don't have the number of immigrants that we have. It's, you know, you don't seem to have the numbers coming into Vienna, so it's a bit of a political thing. You might think so, but I think you don't have any. Um, this is a, just Sigmund Freud, because obviously Vienna is Freud. Um, this is my ode to Klimt, to all the little circles and the background and uh, things, and um, just that's my hand, so you know it's me. Oh, and these are the tracks to, uh, that are on the Heatsing building. You know, you have the, the, the footprints yeah. that go across. So that's Heatsing runs through Vienna. I don't know the bridge is uh, not uh, yes, here. Yeah. It's not here. It doesn't exist as we want. It's the bridge on the building in night. Flashes. 
Then when I came, I realized that uh, every city is uh, living and organic, uh, so mm, this kind of symmetry is broken and it's also a little part, and then everything goes uh, more organic. Um, and I think that uh, Vienna is a place where people can be happy, so it's uh, very colorful. But also, uh, I'm, I'm convinced that every big city uh, has his own uh, mysteries and dark places. So